Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Christmas Crystal Clear Visions where I use my visions, tarot, oracle, music, movies, dreams, Reiki, whatever to help us get messages from the most high, from our angels, our ancestors, our guides, and also loved ones here as well as passed on, okay? Thank you guys so much. They usually give us uh, messages of words of encouragement to help us move forward, to get us past any blockages. Um, and sometimes I'm going to keep it a buck. Sometimes they're just letting us be a little bit nosy. So, again, thank you all for being here. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions to the channel. Thank you for all of those who book your readings with me, who also um, shop at my Shopify store. Okay, I appreciate each and every last one of you guys for helping me out. Okay. <clears throat> if you are new here and you want to know how to get down with that get down, please check the link in the description box below. Okay, it's going to have all of the links that you need in order to get in touch with me. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. This is my law and order deck. Okay, it gives us clues to any type of um, law laws that may be broken or things of that nature okay um before we get started though this message is for entertainment purposes only okay so please seek the correct people that you need as far as um <clears throat> any of those degrees or any of those things that require licensing okay so that these people um can do their job the way they're supposed to all right so again this is an entertainment purposes only, all right? So let's go, Holy Spirit. What messages do you have? What does the collective need to know? What case are we shedding light on? Thank you, Spirit. So we have... <clears throat> we got bankrupts here. So someone could be uh, going through bankruptcy here. Could have filed bankruptcy here. We have gone missing. We have lawsuit. Gang stalking. Arson. Criminal law. Premeditated. Law of rhythm. Go with the flow. Okay. The color blue here. PPP loan, fraud, and mistrial, okay? So someone could have been involved in a lawsuit that um, ended up in some sort of mistrial here. Someone could have been involved in gang stalking here, okay? We also have the PPP loan as well as fraud here. So someone could have had some issues when it comes to those things as well. Okay. Um, some things may resonate. Some things may not. Okay. So we also have abuse, physical and mental here. Okay. So someone could have been dealing with some sort of abuse as well. So let's see. Let's see what Kipper got to say. All right, Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, give us clear guidance on what you are shedding light on today. Clear guidance. Clear guidance, Spirit. Thank you. So we have a mature man here in reverse. Okay, so the mature man, when it is upright, will be someone who has gained a lot of knowledge. This is someone who's learning how to move forward, trying to figure out ways to move forward. This is someone here that is refusing to um, gain any type of knowledge here, okay, or use this knowledge that they have gained here. We also have the privileged lady here, okay. This is my Let Me Upgrade You card here. Card number 12 talks about the hangman. So this could be someone who has some sort of knowledge here that they um are using to observe the things around them at this time while there's this mature man here who is refusing to be mature or refusing to see the truth here we also have a child here as well so this could be a couple here dealing with a child here someone could be lying when it comes to a child here and this mature man again i feel like is the person who is refusing to see things for the truth bottom of the deck we have a message here so someone may have received some sort of message here 
um, possibly when it came to a child and a privileged lady, I'm feeling very strongly like it's this mature man. But again, this person is refusing to see things for what they truly are here, okay? Yes, we have the journey here, okay? This person doesn't want to move forward here. Yes, this person is not wanting to accept some sort of gift that is being offered to them here. What else? One more card, Spirit. I feel as though this is someone who has gotten... Sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right, yeah, we got a thief here, okay? So this is definitely someone who has gotten some sort of clarity when it comes to um, a situation um, of possibly dealing with a child, dealing with some sort of gift, okay, um, that is being offered to this person. Um, whoever this person is, is either refusing to see the truth or they see the truth and they just don't want to make a change when it comes to this situation here. And it is something that is bringing them down, okay. Um, <clears throat> but let's see what else is going on here. So someone may have premeditated um, some sort of crime here, possibly to steal from someone, to use a child to steal from someone here. Um, but either this person is refusing to see the truth in it, or there's someone here that may be still um, pulling a wool over this person's eyes in order to keep them from leaving and going on some particular journey here. Here we have the three of wands here. This is someone waiting on something to come in here. This is someone possibly turning their back on some truth as well. <clears throat> this is someone who, again, is refusing to move forward, okay? Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords here. Now, that is someone that could be coming in that's very angry here. This is someone who could um, be wanting to communicate Um with someone this could be this feminine energy that is very angry um trying to cause this person to not be able to move forward here um they're not happy about this truth that has been coming out here yeah we got the ten of wands here this is someone who's trying to cause some sort of burden here okay again um with it coming out on top of this child i feel as though this person this feminine energy may be trying to guilt trip this um, mature man um, when it comes to this child here. Yes, we do have the magician here. So someone could definitely be manipulating um, the elements, manipulating someone in order to bring about some sort of mistrial, in order to um, change a situation here with this fraud here, okay? Um, this person, <clears throat> this privileged lady, like I said, could be using this mature man and could be causing this person to go bankrupt here. And like I said, I feel as though this mature man is not seeing the truth for what it truly is here. Yes, this person with this four of wands, four of wands talks about celebration here. This could be someone that is married or thinking about marrying this mature woman. I mean, not just this privileged woman here. Um, Yeah, to keep this person stuck, this person doesn't want to work here with this Eight of Pentacles coming out with this Queen of Pentacles here. This is someone who is only interested in someone for money, okay? They're trying to drain this person dry here with this Thief card. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles here. That is learning something new. That could be someone um, getting tarot reading. That could be someone learning new occult knowledge here. Um, this could also be a child as well. So again, someone is possibly using a child here to keep someone stuck, okay? To cause someone to enter into some sort of marriage with them, to keep someone from moving forward here, to keep someone burdened in the situation here. Um, again, um, this person could have pulled out all types of stops here where they have, may have be causing this person to need to file bankruptcy here. They could have done something when it came to arson here. Um, this person definitely is doing something to manipulate the law here in order to cause some sort of mistrial here as well. Alright, Spirit, tell us some more. What else is going on here? Why is this mature man refusing to see the truth? This 
person wants to remain loyal here, okay? This person is trying to hold on to everything that they have here with this Four of Swords. This person doesn't want to be single here, okay? Uh, we also have the Ace of Swords, that spirit saying that that's the truth. This person does not want this clarity on this person that they are dealing with because, again, this, this is someone who doesn't want to live a single lifestyle. This is someone who wants to... <clears throat> wants to remain loyal they want to be seen as someone that is loyal this is someone that feels as though they can't turn their back on this situation because of this child but i feel like this person and a lot of people know um the truth when it comes to this child so tell us about this child with this burden here thank you spirit yeah <clears throat> Six of Wands here. This person wants to be seen as, you know, they want to be looked up to. They want this child to look up to them. This person does have clear and true knowledge here. They know that this child is being placed here to keep them from being able to have this new beginning to move forward here. This person could be a King of Cups here. They don't have to be. This could just be someone who may be involved in drinking here. This could be someone who is reminiscing on the past, okay? Thinking about the past. This is someone Someone who is stuck to the past when it comes to um, this relationship here, okay? Tell me about this four of wands, spirit. I'm feeling as though with that gift in reverse on top of that four of wands, this was something that was not ordained here. This was not meant to happen. This person was not really meant to marry into this situation. But I feel as though this person just did not want to be alone here. This could be someone who is older in age, okay? Um, feeling as though this was the best that they could do here. We do have this Eight of Swords coming out. And so that talks about being stuck in prison, okay? Um, Eight of Swords also is about trapped in the mind, okay? So this person is mentally trapped in their mind, okay? They aren't sure how to make a proper decision when it comes to healing here, okay? Um, so yes, we do have the Queen of Cups here at the bottom of the the deck so this could be a, a cancer pisces scorpio doesn't have to be though but this is definitely someone that has entered into some sort of marriage here okay they feel as though this person is their counterpart but this person again is only here for the money here this person no longer wants to work here um this person just wanted this person to this other person this masculine energy to take care of them here and we got the queen of pentacles here again okay so this person definitely um may have scammed this person when it comes to a child here um this is someone uh with this go with the flow this this masculine energy is just someone who doesn't like to have a lot of conflict here they would rather go with the flow go with what's in front of them here but this person with this four of cups here is someone who may be missing out on the opportunity opportunity because they're refusing to see the truth for what it is here because they're refusing to heal here with card number 17 and 17 being the star here so this is definitely someone who is refusing to move forward here someone refusing to see things for what they truly are and because of that this person is very much so missing an abundant opportunity here so they're dealing with someone who is going to like most likely drain them dry here because this person doesn't want to go on this new journey and leave the past behind this is someone who is stuck in a cycle here with card number 46 breaking down to 10 here okay so we have two journey cards here so i feel as though this mature energy this king of cups energy um may deep down want to move away move forward but again they're worried about um appearances here they're worried about what other people are going to think they're worried about the well-being also of this child here yeah this is someone who does want to get away with this king of swords they want to cut off this relationship they want justice but again they are stuck trapped in their head about you know this decision this is someone who feels as though yeah that with this seven of wands here this is someone who um is very defensive here okay so this you know people may be coming to this person and telling this person things about this feminine energy but this is someone who's very on the defense about it okay they're very um <clears throat> protective of this relationship possibly because they feel as though you know this is what they're supposed to be doing on the surface level but deep down i feel like this person knows that this love is not true okay this is false love with this ace of cups here and this person does want justice but they feel as though it's been too far 
gone, so they're not sure if it's even worthy of getting this justice. This is someone who's very conflicted here. Yeah, we got the Six of Swords, but this person is getting guidance here. We got three 11s that just came out back to back, 47, 11, and 29. Okay, so this person is definitely getting some sort of spiritual guidance. This person could be having dreams um, in order to move away from this situation, okay? They're getting telltale signs, but it's like this person is refusing to move here. We got the six of pentacles here, okay? This person, again, they um, they just want things to be balanced. This is someone who doesn't like a lot of conflict. They like to go with the flow here. But we do have this ace of pentacles here. Um, so, again, ace of pentacles could be a new job, a new home. Um, there are definitely people gossiping about this situation. Ace of pentacles could also be a child as well. So there's a lot of gossip going on around this situation. But, again, this energy, this masculine energy does not want to move forward forward because they don't want to lose all of these things that they worked for but it's like this person is dragging them down so they're gonna eventually lose it anyway here yeah we got the five of cups at the bottom of the deck they're eventually going to end up in some sort of heartache okay we do have the moon here um so that talks about secrets and things so secrets are about to start coming out if they haven't already here um but again it's to bring some sort of balance to a situation with this being card number two this is going to um cause this masculine to have to move forward um because this masculine can't stay stuck where they are anymore okay um it's not good for them it's not good for their health so spirit is about to step in and bring some sort of um justice to this situation here okay so hopefully you guys that helps somebody out there i have to keep these kind of short and sweet um let me know you know send me an email or something okay um but yeah hopefully this message helps somebody to see some sort of truth here um again thank you guys so much for being here your likes your shares your subscriptions your dislikes i appreciate each and every one of you for each and everything that you do for me okay so until the next video i love you guys so much bye